Welcome to Dang Dang Ka Channel. Categories Celebrity Biography. Angela Merkel Biography by Britannica.com. Angela Merkel, née Angela Dorothea Kasnor, born July 17, 1954, Hamburg, West Germany. German politician who in 2005 became the first female chancellor of Germany. Early life. Merkel's parents, Horst and Herlin Kasnor, met in Hamburg where her father was a theology student and her mother was a teacher of Latin and English. After completing his education, her father accepted a pastorate in Quitzo, Brandenburg, and the family relocated to East Germany, German Democratic Republic, just weeks after Merkel's birth. In 1957 they moved again to Templin, where Merkel finished high school in 1973. Later that year she went to Leipzig to study physics at Karl Marx University, now the University of Leipzig. There she met her first husband, fellow physics student Ulrich Merkel, and the two were married in 1977. After earning her diploma in 1978, she worked as a member of the academic faculty at the Central Institute of Physical Chemistry of the Academy of Sciences in East Berlin. In 1982 Merkel and her husband divorced, though she kept his last name. She was awarded a doctorate for her thesis on quantum chemistry in 1986. As was the case for most children growing up in the German Democratic Republic, Merkel participated in the state's youth organizations. She was a member of the Young Pioneers, from 1962, and the Free German Youth, from 1968. Her involvement with the Free German Youth has led to controversy as some of her former colleagues from the Central Institute of Physical Chemistry claimed that she was active as a secretary for agitation and propaganda at the institute, though Merkel maintained that she was responsible for cultural affairs, for example, procuring theater tickets. Merkel was not nor did she apply to be a member of the Socialist Unity Party, and when approached by personnel of the Ministry for State Security, Stasi, to become an informant, she refused. Political career. After the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, Merkel joined the newly founded Democratic Awakening and in February 1990 became the party's press spokesperson. That month the party joined the Conservative Alliance for Germany, a coalition with the German Social Union, DSU, and the Christian Democratic Union. CDU. Several days prior to East Germany's first and only free election in March 1990, it was revealed that Democratic Awakening's chairman, Wolfgang Schnur, had been working as a Stasi informant for years. Although the news shook Alliance supporters, the coalition was victorious, and Democratic Awakening became part of the government, despite having won a mere 0.9% of the votes. Merkel became deputy spokesperson of the government of Lothar de Maizier. CDU. She joined the CDU in August 1990, that party merged with its Western counterpart on October 1, the day before the reunification of Germany. In the first post-reunification election, in December 1990, Merkel won a seat in the Bundestag, lower house of parliament, representing Stralsund Ruggen Grimmen. She was appointed Minister for Women and Youth by Chancellor Helmut Kohl in January 1991. Kohl's choice of the young female political newcomer from East Germany appealed to several demographics and earned Merkel the nickname Kohl's Madchen, Kohl's Girl. Mazier, who had become the CDU's deputy chairman after the Eastern and Western parties merged, resigned from his position on September 6, 1991 because of accusations of having worked for the Stasi. Merkel was elected to replace him in December of the same year. After the 1994 election Merkel became Minister of Environment, Conservation, and Reactor Safety, and she presided over the first United Nations Climate Conference in Berlin in March to April 1995. In September 1998 the CDU was ousted by Gerhard Schroeder and the Social Democratic Party of Germany, SPD. Merkel was elected Secretary General of the CDU on November 7. She married her longtime companion, chemistry professor Joachim Sauer, on December 30 of that year. In late 1999 a finance scandal hit the CDU, and Kohl was implicated in the acceptance and use of illegal campaign contributions. In an open letter published on December 22, Merkel, Kohl's former protege, called upon the party to make a fresh start without its honorary chairman. Merkel's stance greatly increased her visibility and popularity with the German public, 
Although it upset coal loyalists, on April 10, 2000, Merkel was elected head of the CDU, becoming the first woman and the first non-Catholic to lead the party. As CDU leader, Merkel faced the lingering effects of the finance scandal and a divided party. Although Merkel had hoped to stand as a candidate for chancellor in the 2002 election, a majority of her party expressed a preference for Edmund Stoiber of the Christian Social Union (CSU), the CDU's sister party in Bavaria. After the CDU-CSU narrowly lost the election, Merkel became leader of the opposition chancellorship. As support for the SPD wavered, Schroeder called for an early general election to be held in September 2005 and the result was a virtual stalemate. The CDU-CSU won 35.2% of the votes, besting the ruling SPD by just 1%. Both parties sought allies in an attempt to form a government, but months of negotiations proved fruitless. Eventually, the CDU-CSU and the SPD settled on a grand coalition government with Merkel at its head. On November 22, 2005, Merkel took office as chancellor, becoming the first woman the first East German, and, at age 51, the youngest person to date to hold the office. Her mandate was emphatically renewed and parliamentary elections held on September 27, 2009. The SDP posted its worst performance since 1949, and Merkel was able to form a government with her preferred partner, the classical liberal Free Democratic Party FDP. Merkel's second term was largely characterized by her personal role in the response to the Eurozone debt crisis. Along with French President Nicolas Sarkozy, Merkel championed austerity as the path to recovery for Europe's damaged economies. Merkel's most visible success in that arena was the entry into force in January 2013 of a fiscal compact that bound signatory governments to operate within specific balanced budget benchmarks. In the September 2013 federal election, the CDU-CSU alliance won an impressive victory, capturing nearly 42 percent of the vote, just short of an absolute majority. However, because her coalition partner, the FDP, failed to reach the 5 percent threshold for representation, Merkel faced the prospect of forming a government with either the SDP or the Green Party, both of whom were likely to be reluctant partners. After more than two months of negotiations, Merkel secured an agreement with the SDP to form another grand coalition government. On December 17 she became Germany's third three-time chancellor in the post-war era, after Konrad Adenauer and Kohl. The struggling European economy continued to loom large as Merkel entered her third term. The prospect of a Greek exit from the Eurozone was a recurring concern. But it was soon eclipsed by a pair of security challenges on the frontiers of the European Union EU. A pro-Western protest movement in Ukraine drove pro-Russian Prime Minister Viktor Yanukovych from office in February 2014, and Russia responded by forcibly annexing the Ukrainian Autonomous Republic of Crimea. As pro-Russian gunmen seized territory in eastern Ukraine, Merkel joined other Western leaders in accusing Russia of directly fomenting the conflict. She spearheaded EU efforts to enact sanctions against Russia and participated in numerous multi-party discussions in an effort to restore peace to the region. Merkel was also faced with Europe's gravest refugee crisis since World War II when hundreds of thousands of migrants flee in conflicts in Syria, Afghanistan and elsewhere flocked to the EU. Although she maintained that Germany would keep its borders open in the face of the humanitarian emergency, Merkel temporarily suspended the Sungin Agreement and reintroduced border controls with Austria in September 2015. Merkel's style of government has been characterized by pragmatism, although critics have decried her approach as the absence of a clear stance and ideology. She has demonstrated her willingness to adopt the positions of her political opponents if they have proved to be sensible and popular. One notable example of that was Merkel's decision to phase out nuclear power in the wake of the Fukushima accident in 2011 after having passed a law to prolong the operating life of Germany's nuclear power plants only two years earlier. Merkel's handling of the Eurozone debt crisis, on the other hand, has led to criticism of an approach many have considered too strict. Indeed, even the broadly pro-austerity International Monetary Fund director, Christine Lagarde, 
drew attention to the harm that harsh austerity measures could inflict on an already damaged economy. In spite of those challenges, the leader of Europe's most populous and economically powerful country continued to enjoy strong domestic approval numbers. In 2011 Merkel was awarded the U.S. Presidential Medal of Freedom.